Pierre Poilaev or lambasts Justin Trudeau, accusing him of putting political security above the nation's safety. He argues that Trudeau's decision to label the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, as a terrorist organization only came after a by-election, suggesting it was a move driven by political expediency rather than genuine concern for Canadians' security. A vote in Parliament in favour of banning the IRGC wasn't enough to convince the Prime Minister to list it as a terrorist organization six years ago. The organization killing 55 Canadians in an unprovoked attack on a passenger aircraft wasn't enough to make him do it. Even its role in the October 7th attack and its subsequent role in inciting hatred on our streets was not enough. It took a by-election for the Prime Minister to change his mind. Why is the Prime Minister always putting his political security above national security? There can be no impunity for Iran's disregard of human rights and its support of terrorism. This is yet another of the extremely strong measures we've taken against the Iranian regime, some of the strongest measures in the world. This stance underscores a commitment to national security often criticizing any perceived delays or weaknesses in addressing threats. Poilievre contends that Trudeau's action was politically calculated, lacking the true intent to protect the populace. The focus on the IRGC's history of threats highlights the public's expectation for swift and decisive action against entities that jeopardize national security. The values of responsibility and robust leadership are paramount. Poilievre's critique centers on Trudeau's alleged failure to exhibit the necessary leadership by delaying the terrorist designation of the IRGC. He calls for leaders to prioritize the safety and security of citizens over political maneuvers, reflecting a deep-seated desire for transparency and accountability in government actions.